Hey everybody, what's up? It is Wednesday. Wednesday, you know what happens on Wednesday. It is the weekly EIA Petroleum Status Report. Uh, and I have already sent out to MMT Trader subscribers my um, breakdown and analysis of that report. If you want to get a copy of that email, just go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. Uh, and I will also send you the this week's issue of MMT Trader, and then you can log in and get all the back issues. Macy's stock up over 10% today. Uh, MMT Trader Report recommended Macy's stock back in January. We bought that stock at 24, so it is up over 25% so far. It's one of uh, has done very very well, along with many other stocks that are in the MMT Trader Report. I want to mention that maybe some of you don't know. It's not only about economics and the MMT kind of big picture macro understanding. There are stock recommendations in there. There are commodity recommendations in there. There are Forex recommendations in there. There are ETF recommendations in there. So again, if you want to get a copy, uh, just go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and sign up for a 30-day free trial, no obligation, of MMT Trader. I also sent out an email today. You know, we hear a lot um, recently, especially uh, in conjunction with this dollar short covering rally. We get all kinds of reasons thrown, thrown out there. Uh, one of the reasons being, you know, with Trump's policies, it's going to create this shortage of dollars and the, the, the dollar demand is going to cause the dollar to rise and this and that. Uh, I sent out an email today where I debunk those theories and I use data that is out there uh, where I show, for example, during periods of large dollar accumulation, let's say by foreigners, measured as um, the, a rise in the accumulation of U.S. Treasury securities being held by foreigners, right? They they, they run trade surpluses with us. They earn dollars. They put that in treasuries. As that rises, over those periods, the dollar has actually gone down. And vice versa, during periods of um, U.S. Treasury dis-saving by foreigners, in other words, they're selling the treasuries, the dollar has gone up. So there's, a, there's no correlation. There's actually a, a, a very beautiful inverse correlation to the claims of the vast majority of people, basically the 100%, except for myself and my followers, we understand this. And the reason why this is true is that under um, a system in which we operate right now, which is floating exchange rates, non-convertible currency, and when I say non-convertible, I mean not convertible into some fixed quantity of gold or some other currency at some fixed rate, okay? Current, the, the dollar floats freely. There's no uh, link to gold. Uh, under that system, the demand for dollars is instantly and simultaneously met with the creation of dollars, right? The, the, it's created in the system. So when you see this period of, of dollar accumulation, it's actually pushing the dollar down because the dollars are created from that demand, and in many cases, in, in almost all cases, more is created than what is demanded. Um, so you have that effect, and it totally debunks this whole thing, which, which shines a glaring spotlight on the true reason why this is happening, in my opinion anyway, and that gets back to everything that I, I have been saying. This is pure, 100%, unadulterated speculation by investors that the dollar is going to go up because interest rates are rising and for whatever other cockamamie reason they have. So this is pure speculation. It is not based on the reality of what is going on. And that reality is higher inflation, price setting by the central bank, the Fed, fiscal expansion. Those are bearish factors, not to mention the de-dollarization which is an ongoing but a very long-term thing. It's a slow, but it's a process now 
uh, which will carry on for a very long period of time. We're starting to see evidence of this now, by the way. We're starting to see, uh, just today I read that um, Europe, which is opposed to Trump's pulling out of the Iran deal, they are going to set up now a bilateral arrangement where Iranian crude can be purchased in euro. Okay, we saw back in March uh, the, um, the the beginning of the yuan-based crude oil futures contract in, in China. Okay, we see we have seen over the past year, year and a half, bilateral um, agreements between Russia and China priced in, in, in ruble or in yuan. So you're starting to see now more and more, you see the, the um, cryptocurrencies, which I've always said are a symptom of the desire by the rest of the world to find an alternative to the dollar. And the reason behind that is that the increased weaponization of the U.S. dollar as a foreign policy instrument, as a military instrument, um, as a kind of uh, asymmetric warfare tactic that is being used against countries and even um, allies of the United States, right? Europe, the UK, Germany, France, they're being hurt by this. And I've called it the sword of Damocles, you know, hanging over your head. I mean, the world cannot operate under a system like this, which carries implicitly an enormous amount of risk. So that's ongoing, that's a long-term thing, that's not gonna you know, crash the dollar overnight or anything, that is a slow grinding, most people don't even realize that, they don't see it, that is underneath, percolating underneath, that's gonna be a condition in place forever now, unless the United States, unless Washington changes its policies, and I highly, highly doubt that that is going to happen. All right, uh, so you have that. So again, uh, there is no such thing as dollar demand or lack of demand setting exchange rates or other than sh very short-term speculative action in the market. And that's what you are seeing right now. All right. It's not based on some kind of new fundamental that just emerged where, oh my God, there's so much dollar demand and it, it, it's going to keep going. No does not, inapplicable, inapplicable. You could go on and think that. You could see the dollar going up and say, ha ha, Mike, you're wrong. But three months, six months, a year from now, it'll be way down and I will be right once again. And I've shown this. If you want to get this email, go sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. Um, so yeah, that's it, uh, you know. It's going to peter out. It's going to fizzle out. Let's start heading back down again. Um, let me jump quick to the oil situation. As I said, I sent out an email on the EIA weekly petroleum status report. You need to see that. We're at an interesting point here, a very interesting point with oil. You got to know which way it's going to go. We have positions, by the way, I uh, also an MMT trader and I advised uh, last year, November, whatever, we were buying Phillips 66, we were buying Valero, 60, 64, $66 a share. They're up to 115, 117, okay? What happens now? You gotta know. You gotta know. It's all in there. Remember, it's not just the big macro picture. I'm the only guy, the only person who offers applied MMT. This is not theory. This is applying the theory to trading and investing in the markets. And yes, in the report, you got stocks, you got commodities, you got Forex, you got ETFs, you got all that stuff. So MMT Trader, go to pitbulleconomics.com and sign up. But as far as the dollar demand setting exchange rates, that doesn't happen. It does not work that way. All right, bye-bye.